science? Yeah, that's much better. Greetings, science maximites, and welcome to Science Max Experiments at Large. Today, we're going to be talking about sound. Sound is all around us. We use it every day, but what is it really? Sound is energy. Let's say that this is the... That this... No, stay. Stay. Okay that this spring is the sound of my voice. When I make noise, it travels away from me in a wave. One air molecule vibrates the next, the air molecule vibrates the next, and it looks like a wave. And when there's a little bit of energy, the wave doesn't move very much. Science. But when there's a lot of energy, the wave moves a lot. Science! What do we do? What do, what do we do? to make sound louder. This is the Science Max theme song, but it's not very loud because the speaker on my phone isn't designed to make super loud noises. So what we're going to do is find ways to make the volume of that song as loud as possible. Here is one way. Take a phone playing some music and put it in a glass. Make sure the glass is empty, of course. Huh? And suddenly, it's a lot louder. Wow! Why this works is one of the things we're gonna be looking at today. I know, pretty impressive, right? No, no, hold on. <laughs> okay. So, I take my phone, and I play some music on my phone, and it's louder. Yay! Right? Check it out. Phil, you've just made yourself a resonance chamber. A resonance chamber. A Very resonance nice. chamber is what we say when we're trying to describe how the sound is amplified. So if the sound's coming in from one direction, it's bouncing around, not really losing energy. Mm -hmm. So when more sound comes in, that's amplified. We hear it a lot louder. 